Hello, everybody. So we are going to continue with um, the building our cybersecurity home lab part three. We had done part one and two. Part one, we talked about the concept of virtualization. We talked about it a little bit in part two. And in part two, we, we, we build our Kali Linux attack machine, Kali Linux virtual machine. So in part three, we are going to be uh, building our Metasploitable two. Very simple process. Um, so let's get going. I'm not going to be talking about the concept of virtualization anymore. Um, if you've not watched part one and part two, please, I'm gonna be dropping the uh, links in the description of this video. All right, so please go um, watch part one and part two, which is very important. That's gonna help you um, in understanding part three. All right. Uh, before we um, get started, if you would like, um, if you can just uh, subscribe, hit the notification button and share, comment, like this video, um, you will be encouraging us to bring you more and more of these uh, free uh, videos. All right. So um, just a little bit again about virtualization, remember we want to build a virtual machine. And in order to build a virtual machine, we need um, a host computer, the computer that you're using to build your lab. On that host computer, we need to um, install a kind of software on that host computer called a, a, a hypervisor. And on top of that hypervisor, we are gonna build um, different virtual machines on, all right? So go watch the um, part one, part two, and part three. So in this case, uh, we are going to be building our Metasploitable 2. Uh, for those who do not know, Metasploitable 2 um, is a purposefully uh, vulnerable machine. It was built with a lot of vulnerabilities. Rapid7 is um, it's a vendor that you know, manufactures scanners. So there is a, a very uh, big name scanner called Rapid7. So they built Metasploitable 2, um, purposefully born, made it purposefully vulnerable so that um, you can use it to practice hacking, all right? So um, I'm, I'm going to be dropping this link. So this is how I'm going to get what we call the OVA file in this case. It's a whole package that whole, that contains everything, unlike the ISO image, where you saw how we were able, we, we had to go through that long process to build that using the ISO. With the Metasploitable tool, we're just gonna use what we call an OVA image. So I'll click on this link. That is gonna take me to, um, the site where I am going to be getting my OVA. So once you click on that link, I will be dropping this link in the description as well. Uh, so I click on download there. All right. Okay, that's it. Up there is currently downloading. Okay, so that's gonna take a while. Uh, once that download is complete, then we are going to ride up with the process of building our Metasploitable tool machine. Okay, so now that if you look at the top right corner, uh, now that our, um, our Metasploitable OVA has fully downloaded, so let me just come here and click here. Um, notice that unlike the, let me go back to download, unlike the Kali Linux, so you see once you download something and it, you know, it's zip like this, it means you need to unzip. So click on it and then extract, you come up here or you can also uh, right click once you right click, you will see uh, the option of uh, extract all, click on that, and then extract here. All right, so that is the OVA is currently being extracted. 
All right, so that's going to take a little while uh, to complete. Um, so we are now on the 40th percent. Okay, so that's going to take a little while. Okay, so once, um, let's know it. So once that is um, exported, what I need us to do right now, what I need us to do is let us go to, let's bring up our hypervisor, remember? So this is our hypervisor. So that has been extracted. So if I double click, so this is our OVA, all right? So um, this is where our, cal remember this, this is our hypervisor that we installed on this computer. Now on this hypervisor, we've built our Kali Linux. Remember the last video, we built our Kali Linux. Now in this video, we're going to be building our Metasploitable tool. Okay, so the same process, almost the same process. So I can click on new, and then here I put Metasploitable tool. So there is a Metasploitable 3. I don't really like that one very much. Not too vulnerable. And then, so Metasploitable 2. And then um, you just leave everything as is. Then here, uh, for the operating system type, let us, of course, that's a Linux. And I want us to take Debian again. And then, um, you can give it a CPU of, of two, all right, two CPUs. And here we have a little bit of change. Um, I'm going to be clicking on use an existing virtual hard disk file. So I click there. And here I'm going to go to where we have our Metasploitable. Um, that is still in the downloads. Okay. And that is it. So I'm going to, I think this thing is blocking my view. All right, so I'm going to choose that. And then I click finish. All right, so that's it. So let's go and configure that right now. Let's go configure that. Remember we have to breach, just like we did the last time. So for display, I pull this right up to the end. And for storage, we already have that. And here, let's bridge this and then click OK. All right, so let's start this machine and see um, if everything was properly set correctly. All right, so that is trying to, <clears throat> to start up. It looks like there's a problem there. Um, it says, um, okay, my BIOS bug, blah, blah, blah. I'll see it. So it says try booting with the no APIC option, all right? So once you have this kind of problem, I'm happy we have this right now. Uh, once you have this, so what we need to do right now is to um, power down this machine and then um, start all over again. And, and we wait for a minute for that to come up. All right, so while it's powering on, um, just make sure to make sure you are striking the escape button. All right, make sure you're striking the escape button. All right, so once you strike the escape button, you see where this brings you. All right, so at this point, you press um, E on your keyboard twice. All right, so it says press Enter to boot 
to the selected OS. No, I don't think that is what I want to do. All right. So make sure you, you, you strike the E on your keyboard. Let me see. Uh, um, strike E on your keyboard. All right. E again. So you, you put no A, <clears throat> E, I, C. No L, A, E, I, C. A, C, E, I equals off. All right. Um, and then you strike enter. Okay. So at, at that point, I think all is well right now. Okay. Again, it looks like that was not safe. So let me do that again. No APIC. No LAPIC. ACPI equals R. Okay. So at this juncture, let me see to open a new line, blah, blah, blah. Or ask you to go back to the main road. So after order to let the line be to remove the line, okay, or escape to go back to the all right. Okay, so so we we are done at this stage. So what we'll do is we just um head it off again and then try to to bring it on again, all right? All right. So after doing it for the first line, make sure you repeat the same thing for the second line and then you type, you press enter. All right. And then Strike enter and then you do a B for boot. And let's see how that's gonna work. All right, that's taking way too long. All right, so it's currently loading. All right, so it looks like it that work. Um, now, if you build your machine the first time and you didn't have this error, good, good for you, no problem. But if you had this error, uh, make sure that you just follow uh, what I said. You power down the machine and then you want to power it on again, keep hitting on the escape button. And then when the page comes, you hit on E, the letter E on your keyboard twice. And then you put in no APIC, then no L APIC, then ACPI equals to off, right? You strike enter, take your downward arrow key, go down again, do the same thing, press an E, then that comes up. You type in the same thing again, and then you type, you press enter, and you boot with a B. All right. So now we have our metasploitable. Let me sign in MSF admin and MSF admin. All right. So there I am in my metasploitable. Okay. So um, if this video was helpful, just hit this. Um, you can comment, you can hit the, the share button, share to your friends, share to people who have um, difficulty trying to install their Metasploitable. Um, and then also subscribe, hit the notification bell. See you guys. All right, so that is gonna be the end for lab three, okay? See you guys, have fun, bye for now.